Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, so we've got it hooked up in the four jaw. We're going to come in and uh, indicate it in. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> we'll get this part indicated and then we're going to come into the hole and indicate the hole because we know that that's straight. But let's get it close first. Okay. Within 10 right there. Now five. Tighten everybody up. Now about three. I can live with that. And we've got we got our hole. Oh, look at that! It's pretty close. A little off right there. Just see how that spins out. I'd say that's pretty close. We're within about two or three. Let's just do it just a little bit more. I like it. looks good so I think what I want to do in order to get this thing to really play out straight is uh, come in with a boring bar and bore this out well okay not a boring bar but a boring toothpick And actually, if you look close at that, uh, it's a threading uh, tip, but we're going to use it as a boring tip. Oh, we need to bring it up a bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Oops, wrong way. No? Right way. Okay, so we're just coming in. Let's blow this thing out. We're just skimming it just to clean up that edge or that hole. All right, 
I'm going to take a measurement. What did we got? 290, 282. And we want 312, so we got plenty of room. Okay, we got our hole squared up. And we are at 285. So let's take another run at this. Just take five or ten. Ninety. I want to get to zero or to three, three hundred. Ten more. I think that has us. Yep, zero. Or 300. So let's take this off. And we're going to come in with a, and it turns out I've got a metric reamer at 312 thousandths. <laughs> Why I have it, I don't know, but I do, and that's all that counts. And we'll get the belt to go a little slower. Put a little juice on and run her in. There we go. I think we got some resistance there. Yeah. So it's about that far in. So that's good. All right. Uh, let me square up this end and we'll be ready to go for it.
Okay, now we go over to the uh, mill and uh, put a set screw in this end and put a, uh, a uh, wrench holder on the other side. Okay, so we're going to come in with our two fluted uh, bit here and we're going to make a flat spot on each each side. Then we might come in and do a a seat for a for a set screw on on the the top. Oh, but that's not fast enough. Okay, that's about right. Um, you know, the flat doesn't matter. I'm going to come in with a crescent wrench, tighten it one time, and then it'll just be there forever. So uh, we're not going to go for a nominal size. Okay, so now we're going to come in and find somewhat center. Let's see it what it looks like. I'd say that's pretty center. <clears throat> and we want our screw to be outside of this little uh, step down. So someplace right in there probably is good. Let's lock our gibbs down and start this spinning and just take her down. gives us flat spot enough to put a set screw in although maybe it's not enough height yeah it's fine okay so now bring our table down and I'm gonna go find a set screw and I will be back all right, well, for sure, we don't have a whole lot of room for error, so we're going to come in with a uh, center drill and get that hole started, just so that drill bit doesn't walk on me. And that's all we really need, just, just to get it started. And we're coming in with the number 21 drill bit and drilling out to, or and tapping it to 1032. All right, let's run this guy down by hand. Oh, we're gonna have to go down. There we go, barely. Yeah, it was already through. So that's good. We got a good start there. Come on. <clears throat> Let's come back 
and put a set screw in the other side. Now that may not reach. Okay. Now you're definitely not going to see that. Well, we could just raise it up. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I think that's going to be just about right. Get that started. Tighten her up, a little bit of oil, run her down. Take her all the way in. And that should give us what we want. Looks pretty good. Let's take it over and try it out. That's the uh, proof in the pudding. All right. Uh, we got a couple of set screws over here. Set screws in. Interesting. Well, it's. Uh, I'm gonna go have to go back and figure out what happened because I cut the the set screws too small. But for the moment, we could just uh, test it out and see how it's gonna work. Put the set screws in later. So uh, tighten that up. Oh, probably should put the block on.
Okay, nice and snug, and we'll tighten it up later. Let's turn it on and see how it's going to spin. I'd say pretty good. And then the motor goes in here like that. Where's that? Where's our flat? Nice tight fit, that's for sure. Well, I think we've got to go in and ream it out again because it's uh, it's probably hitting on the burrs on that. But before we do that, I think it's probably best to go back in, figure out what this size is. I thought it was 1032, but obviously not. So uh, I'll get that figured out. All right, let's back. see how it goes. Um, we got our piece, we had to adjust it a couple of times to get it to not bind up, but I think we got her. Screw our sleeve on, tighten it up. <clears throat> Spin this around till we can tighten up our set screws. And probably what I'm going to do is after a while, I'll take the set screw out and run a drill bit right down the center of it and drill the, a little uh, indent in the shaft itself. But for now, we're just kind of trying things out. Now, I drilled a couple of holes in the plate here to accept the, the, uh, the um, motor and got a couple of screws put those in place there's one there's one Let's tighten up the set screw and we want to spin this down just a little bit. Okay. So, plug it in and see if it works. Look at that. And that's 16 RPM, which is going to be just about right. So let's take it over here and see what kind of surface we're going to cut here. Can you see that in that close? Let me let's see if I can adjust it. So. Turn it off. 
Okay, that's where it starts tapering out, but we've got, I'm gonna bring you in close. Well, I don't know if you can see close enough, but that is definitely a G32 finish. So I'm happy with that. I mean, we've still got a taper and we still don't know if, uh, you know, if the, the, this diameter is weak enough that it, that it kind of dives in that way, which means that we've got a kind of a football shape coming out as we travel down. Cause we've got to come down, oh, a good inch and a half, at least for this one design. So uh, if we've have, if that's the problem, then we're going to have to put a follow rest on here, and we're going to have to grind our follow rest followers to literally be the size of this tip here. And you can see the tip is fairly small, uh, and it'll have to come in and support the bottom and support the back uh, down that small. But if that's the case we can do it but if that if I can do it without uh, the follow rest let's give it a try for now uh, we'll be back uh, with okay, the next well step. we got uh, our um, our vertical in place welded and and machined and we had to switch the uh, micrometer over from the other side to this side so the uh, indicator would fit and uh, we built a, a new indicator, um, uh, what, striker, a uh, place for the indicator to land on, and you can kind of see it there. And we have a couple of things left and we can do a trial run. One thing is, is the indicator has, uh, you know, when I put a, a big magnet down the center of this, uh, it screwed with the indicator so I'm putting four little magnets uh, on each corner of this uh, because two just it doesn't quite get it um, and hopefully it won't screw with the indicator itself and then the other thing and we're waiting for the magnets and then the other thing is is out here uh, on the um, cross slide we're going to tie in to the degree wheel down in here which is right there and <clears throat> bring a piece of bronze out to probably out to the edge of here or maybe even beyond depending on how much uh, how much we need in order to get uh, um, minutes of degrees now really this thing only needs to rotate five degrees tops so all we need is that five degrees but we need all of the degrees in between that you know of course the the five degrees but then uh, what is it that's 60 minutes in between each degree we're not going to do 60 but we could probably do you know some division of that and we're going to uh, do that in bronze. Uh, I've got an eighth inch piece of bronze ordered that's uh, four inches wide. And somehow we're going to make that work so that it uh, is part of this system. So that when it com comes time to rotate this, however many degrees I need to rotate it, I can do it easily and accurately. So uh, I'm probably just going to check in at the end of each uh, day that I work on this um, and give you an update because, uh, you know, this is pretty complicated and, uh, and I have to pay attention and it's hard to do a camera and pay attention at the same time. So uh, we'll be back with uh, updates sometime soon.